G'day everybody, it is Jacob Templeton here from Australia, Paralympic swimmer, and this week I'm going to jump straight into my band workout or activation video, uh, specific for swimming or just for general use. And the first exercise here is for 35 seconds, and it's the external rotation. So we want to grab the band with both hands, uh, whatever band it is that you have, and just try and pull the band apart, trying to keep that elbow in a relatively fixed position and just rotating about the shoulder there. So as you can see, See, most of my body is relatively still, um, except for my, my forearms, uh, which are moving, and we want to keep the wrist firm there as well. So uh, eight exercises today, 10 seconds rest between each, so six minutes of a workout, um, and a lot of this is relevant for swimming. So the second exercise here is the overhead tricep extension. This one can be a little bit awkward, as you can see my singlet's lifting a little bit there, but try and just make do with what you've got. Uh, this is a thin band I've got here. There's, you know, you can use many different styles of bands, many different uh, thicknesses of bands or widths of bands. Uh, but with this one, we wanna try and keep from the shoulder to the elbow relatively fixed. Uh, you will move a little bit, but just try and keep that fixed. And we wanna try and extend the forearm, keeping those wrists relatively uh, firm or strong as well. So you'll feel this in the back of your upper arm, uh, also known as your tricep. So moving on to exercise number three now, uh, and as mentioned, there are eight exercises. So this one, we wanna grab the band, get it overhead. It's a little bit awkward to get it overhead. And we're just gonna do shoulder, str shoulder shrugs. So keeping the arms pretty straight, and the only reason the arms will go up and down is because we're shrugging our shoulders. So we wanna try and keep them nice and even. Uh, my left one plays up a little bit sometimes, so the right one that you're looking at there. Um, so I'm trying to keep them nice and still. I work on that every day. Uh, so just try and brace the core and shrug the shoulders overhead there to, to move the arms up and down. You'll probably notice that a lot of these exercises are for the shoulders. Uh, I have included a lower body one here, uh, but the reason for that is swimmers really need to activate their shoulders before getting into the pool. Uh, many swimmers uh, and many people that do swimming um, can get shoulder uh, rotator cuff or overuse injuries in, in the tendons in the shoulder. So we wanna make them warm before getting in the pool, but it's equally important to warm up the glutes and the core too. So by pulling the knees apart here, abduction, um, we activate uh, some of the, the you know, smaller muscles in the hips and, and the, the buttocks region there. Um, so the, the hip thrust or the glute bridge uh, isn't made harder by the band, but by adding that abduction at the end, we just fire a lot of those smaller muscles in the hips there as well. So um, here I've got the internal rotation of the shoulder. Now, um, it's been hard for me here to do this because usually you would try and attach it to a pole or a door handle or something. Be careful if you attach it to a door handle but I'm just holding it behind my back with my right arm there and just trying to internally rotate with the left arm. So similar to the external rotation, we wanna keep that uh, upper arm relatively still, so from the shoulder to the elbow, and we're just internally rotating uh, at the shoulder there, so the forearm will be the one moving. Um, it looks a little bit awkward, so apologies about this, but we wanna try and keep the wrist relatively firm, um, and for the next exercise, I'll swap sides. So I've used two of my um, a lot of times here for the same exercise, but this one's really important because this is the initial phase of the swimming in the, the freestyle catch is the internal rotation uh, to create that paddle to pull the water. So this one's really important. Uh, it's important to warm this up and do it properly uh, because it will really help to uh, prehabilitate before getting in the pool and hopefully to um, limit or reduce the likelihood of injuring the muscles used in this in this movement. So a couple of exercises to go now. So this one I'm using uh, the upper body and the lower body together. Uh, it's important to fire both before getting in the pool. Uh, so I've got the squat with an overhead press and I'm challenged um, personally by uh, a little bit of a tight back and also poor range of motion in my ankles. That's why I don't do breaststroke. Uh, it's fine for freestyle. Um, 
but that's why um, I'm not keeping a relatively upright torso here. So we want to try and keep an upright torso as much as we can, um, gaze forward and try and uh, press overhead so we can lock those arms out. Um, and this one will obviously fire both of those uh, areas of the body, the upper and the lower body. Um, but we want to try and squat until we're 90 degrees and press overhead until we've almost locked those arms out. So the last exercise here, I've got some core work. So um, grabbing onto the band with your hands, make as much tension as you like. And we're just pressing one leg out at a time and then double legs. So this will challenge the core. Uh, it will also challenge the legs because we're pressing, pressing out with the legs. So we'll just try and get that band around your feet. Um, it might slip a little bit, but just readjust if you need to uh, and just grab on with both hands just to, to secure that uh, the band in place there. So uh, this is our last exercise. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. Please comment below if you have any requests for next week's video. Um, once again, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys, and comment below if you have any questions. Cheers.